I think I need to watch this movie again to make this video. I just saw Dan and Dodie's videos and my, I'm kind of hyped up about it, so I'm gonna do it now. If I change my mind, I'll tell you. So, since I'm a film student, we're doing film reviews. <laughs> so, La La Land. The whole movie, I was waiting for something to happen. That, that was the movie for me. I sat there, the two hours, watching like, okay, when is the scene that's gonna make me love it? Where, which, what is the song that make me understand what all this hype is about? Nothing happened. <laughs> that was the movie. It didn't bring anything new to the making your dreams can true story. You know what I mean? The movie is predictable. So since the first scene, the famous actress comes and asks me for a coffee, like, you know that's the scene they're gonna repeat. I like it. But, like, in the first five minutes of the movie, I knew how the, the final five were gonna go. Another thing that annoyed me about this movie, what was the dramatic purpose of Greg? Uh, I hate movies that romantic comedies and stuff like that make the current boyfriend seem annoying and that he doesn't deserve the girl just so the main character can look good. I got the feeling, I don't know if it's baggage or the movie did it, but I didn't like neither Greg nor the man me end up with. I hate it that they did that because she... I feel like the Mia is the type of girl who wouldn't have a shitty boyfriend. Like, she wouldn't be with someone like she didn't like or that was mean to her. She doesn't take shit home. What makes up for it is that the last look between Mia and Sab is not the one we should have ended together. It was more like, hi. Which I thought was cool. And which brings me to my theory. This movie is so big, so colorful, so all over the place that I don't think this is my interp I don't think my interpretation is right. I don't think they meant that. But to me, when they put Greg and when they put the husband, it feels like Seb is just another guy. She had a boyfriend before him and she had a husband after him. She, of course she loved him, but he was just another love of her life, you know? So it would be really inter interesting if the movie was about that. Like, you have, you can have many great loves. But I don't think they meant that way. It was just me trying really, really hard to find out why Greg was there. Because, supposedly, dramatically, for the script, his function would be to cause Mia to realize she was falling in love with Seb because she would have to dump someone to be with him. But, like, she doesn't give a shit about Greg. She goes to this dinner and goes, Meh! I don't want it. I love me so uh, Mia Stone. <laughs> I love Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. And they as a romantic couple, it's good. I love them in Crazy Stupid Love. But this is not their best. It's not their they're good, they were wonderful, they're great actors. But I didn't buy it. Like I said, this movie's so big, so everywhere that I think it was meant for you not to buy it. I wasn't blown away by it, so to me there's two things. Either the movie was meant to be this big, loud, and for you not to buy it because it's not real, or it was a dream come true spying story. It can be both. And to me, it was the more unreal one, like it was too pretty, too colorful, too loud to be true, like kind of parody. But the message that got through to people wasn't that. So I don't know if it's just my reading of it or it was the actual intention. Can we talk about the, I don't know this term in English, but this, uh, the sequence when you don't turn off the camera. Like it's a full five minutes without turning off the camera. They do that in the, f the first scene and the scene that the girls are dressing up to go to a party. I was blown away. That was a long, long scene without cuts. I was very impressed with that.
this is fair and confusing and not at all coherent. But those were my thoughts in La La Land. I'll live... Uh, I'll, I'll try to see this movie again and I'll make a response to this video on the day I watch the movie. So I'll leave the links to Dan and Dodie's videos on the description so you know what I'm kind of talking about. So yeah.